I've heard some comments, uh, who's Matt Parrish? Uh, I made a similar comment, who's Michael Maguire? And uh, I saw Michael Maguire completely transform the Wigan side into championship uh, winners. So, John, uh, a good day for Salford? Yes, I believe so. Um, you know, we had to appoint a new coach, of course, with Sean McRae with his illness. And, uh, you know, we've now got the person that I believe can take us forward, a good young coach, uh, you know, coached under some excellent people in Australia, ready now, you know, to take an head coaching position, all the qualifications. And, you know, I believe that uh, it's going to be good for Salford City Reds. Um, you made some comparisons with Michael Maguire at Wigan. Do you think this coach has got the potential that uh, that Michael's shown at Wigan? I, I believe that because Michael Maguire, of course, was under Craig Bellamy at uh, Melbourne Storm, another you know good head coach. And there's a lot of Australian assistants looking for these opportunities. There's 30 positions in the all wide world, so you know when a position like this comes up, you know people do obviously come out of the woodwork, but of course they've got to have the credentials, they've got to done the hard work, the hard yards, and uh, and I believe that when we went you know to Australia, we looked at obviously the five people that were narrowed down, and we spoke to a lot of people as well, you know because everybody would give us references to check with people and speak to other people. Um, you know I think we were very thorough, and I think we selected an outstanding uh, candidate for the job. I imagine it must have been an element of sadness and difficulty about knowing that you'd have to be turning down Phil for the job as well. Yeah, Phil Vivers is uh, a guy I've worked with this year, very loyal guy uh, and a good coach. And people might say, well, why didn't you give Phil the job? Um, very difficult question. You know, we felt that, uh, you know, we needed to bring somebody in. You know, you look at some of the coaches that have come in over the years, the Justin Morgans at OKR. You, know, you look at Nathan Brown, I know he coached at head coaching level. You look at the Michael Maguires, and uh, you can look at the guy now at, uh, at Catalan, uh, you know, what he's doing there, uh, Robinson. And we just felt that we, we had to explore. We had to explore that area before any final decision was made. And, uh, and we found this, you know, standout candidate. I got told at the beginning of the week that I didn't, uh, didn't get the job, so yeah, disappointed, but obviously you got to look forward. I've been an assistant a long time and I probably think that I'm ready to head coach but uh, it's just the same as any job really, it's all about hard work, you know, I've got a pretty good work ethic, um, just got to keep going along those lines and one day you'll get your shot, I believe that anyway. There's been comparisons that he can perhaps do what Michael Maguire has done at, at, uh, at Wigan, is that, is that a feeling that you have as well? Not particularly, I think you know Matt Parrish is, uh, is not Michael Maguire, Michael Maguire is him. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure Matt Parrish has um, other uh, other strings to his bow than, than what Michael has. So, you know, all I'm saying is give the guy a chance, let him come in, let him do his job, and then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, to be honest. Um, from him, personally, I, I think some hard work. He's definitely a hard worker and a, and a good bloke. I get along well with him. And he's honest, you know. You'll always know where you stand with him, and um, he'll not be afraid to put players in their place if needs be, and um, I think that's a good attribute to have. I think it's fair to say the season's not gone as expected probably when, when you kicked off at the beginning. It, does it feel like you've perhaps drawn a line under that now? Yeah, that, that's been a big point that Phil's, Phil's made to us actually over this week in particular. Let's draw a line under that and get on with it. And, um, you know, we've got that target of making the top eight for the rest of the season. And, you know, it's not going to be easy, but if nothing's easy, you know, so, so we're willing to work hard and, and we've got a goal and that's what we're working towards. We quite close still to the top eight playoffs. Um, I wanted it the best possible season possible. That's why we strengthened the team as we did. You know, we wanted to leave the Willows in good respectability. Um, of course, uh, you know, the league tables and history of a club don't lie. You know, we wanted it to, that we left the Willows right. And uh, yeah, I'm so disappointed that, uh, you know, we are not where we wanted to be. But from that, there's always, you know, an upturn. And the upturn is it's made us look, you know, for a new coach, a new head coach. It's given us plenty of opportunities to speak to people, um, you know, not just the person who's going to a point. And, and I think that uh, there's always something uh, good that comes out of a bad situation. And someone for the fans to get excited about as well. Yeah, um, a guy who plays, played his rugby passionately and coached it passionate, a bit volatile, but I think that's good in a person. You know, if you channel it in the right direction, 
he'll want success, as Michael Maguire did at Wigan. Uh, you know, he didn't go to Wigan to, you know, he, he obviously was looking on the other side of the pond, uh, you know, and he's gone back into a top position now, you know, in Sydney. So uh, I would imagine Matt Parrish has got a similar, you know, it's another, you know, it's another good plus on his CV. If he does that for us and, you know, if he goes back and takes a, a, a club in, in Australia at the top level, he's done his job here because he'd not get that position unless he's done it here. So, you know, we wish him all the best in his stay in England, uh, certainly with the Salford Club. And, uh, you know, hope that at the end of his two and a half year stint that, uh, you know, he's a better coach and we're a better team. Is, is there a frustration that, that you can't select from, from any English or British managers that might possibly be out there? I think if that was, uh, you know, the real possibility, I think other clubs would have done it before now. Uh, don't get me wrong, there are some good young British coaches. You know, you look at uh, Richard Agar at all and you look at Istin Harris now with the Crusaders. You know, just to mention two. Um, but, you know, if you want to look and really have a... A, a, a number of people in front of you could do the job. You know, you've really got to go to Australia. Mm -hmm.